Hey, my little angels, come on in. I'm so glad you're here. Let's do a get ready with me for this Father's Day. So it's been a busy morning. I have done my skincare, guys. I just, I was, I decided the last minute um, to do a get ready with me. But we got up early and we gave Uncle Angel his gifts and he really liked everything. Um, I thought that the script would be the big hit and it was a hit. But the biggest hit was that tip tray, the Johnny Walker one that came from an Irish pub. That was a huge hit. Um, also the decanter filled with whiskey fudge. Um, he liked that idea a lot. And I said, you know, when the fudge is gone, you can, because he loves um, unsalted nuts. I said, you can fill it with your nuts because it has a lid that seals. He loved it, loved that idea. So that was a hit. So, and then, while we were doing all that, I had gotten up early because we bought two slices, just two, 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 slices of pork belly. And pork belly has to be cooked um, long, long. Now, I did trim off the skin part because I know it's supposed to go crackling. It doesn't. The, the rest rendered out and went crackling type. But that rind, it goes hard as leather. Um, so I just trimmed that off and just put it in an oven on a rack over a tray at 375 and it cooked for an hour and 10 minutes, guys. It was so good. And in the last 20 minutes, I just took some maple syrup and hot sauce and mixed them together to make a stinger sauce and just glazed the top of it every few minutes. It was so good. It was so good. And he requested apple pie bars for dessert tonight, which are so easy to make. So I actually made those, but I cheated and I used apple pie filling. Work, work smarter, not harder. Why do I have to peel and cut apples? But what I did do is I dumped them in a pot and then I just used scissors to make them really small pieces. I don't want them pureed, but I want them smaller pieces. And I cook them with butter and brown sugar and um, cinnamon to make them more like a apple pie. I like it that way. And then you make the bars. I pop them in the oven. They'll come out in about 20 minutes. And I've made bacon because he requested. Now it's called, now it's called a French ribeye steak, but it always used to be called a tomahawk steak. But I understand why, you know, that's not a nice term anymore. So he requested that and a wedge salad for dinner. So fine with me. That's so easy for me. And the French ribeye, guys, it's just a big old roast. You just sear it really hard on both sides, roast it low and slow. It's delish. You treat it like a prime rib, really. So that's going to be good. Now, I'm just going to get ready. I also have all my little um, trays that I bought to clean up my drawers. I'm not going to do that while I'm talking to you guys, though. So now I did... Baby Angel gave me this. Someone gave it to her and she didn't end up using it. It's Fenty Skin and it's Plush Puddin Intensive Recovery Lip Mask. So I did put some on last night and I think I'm going to put it on every night. I don't know if you're supposed to put it on in the mornings, um, but you know what? Let's do it anyways. So you just twist the lid until it comes up. It's very thick, so you don't need a lot of it. So while I do my skin, I'm just going to let that soak in. I think I'll just put that right there for now. For now. All right, so I am going to use that. I do need... Now I'm out of my milk primer, so I'm actually going to be using the e.l.f. primer. I did start using this yesterday. I like it. I do. I also have a very small in here somewhere. There it is. I have this one, guys. The Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm going to try this on Baby Angel's graduation day. So we'll see. 
Now the other thing, this isn't skincare. I consider this part of my makeup routine. This is the Bye Bye Bags from It Cosmetics. I love this stuff. It works really well. The only drawback, it smells. Only for a second, like only when you first put it on and then it's gone, you don't smell it. And nobody else would be able to smell it. But oh, I can smell it and I don't like it. So we have the primer, we have that. And I'm also using this Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firming Lip lip filler because I really want plump beautiful smooth lips and yes I am actually considering getting lip fillers I am um, I have a friend who's a registered nurse who does um, cosmetic injections and I was talking to her about it and she said Kim I have to take a course She's good. I've already done it, but I want to take an intensive course on the lip filler and I need to bring models in. She goes, you still have to pay for the medication, but it's so much less. So I said, count me in on that one. I have no problems with that. All right. So Magic Star Concealer, my ride or die. And guys, look at your face and where you see a dark, you put it on. That's all. It's not complicated. You don't have to follow a chart or what anyone else tells you. Where you see dark, put it on. And I have a wee little e.l.f. powder puff that I'm going to use to just dab it in. I even cleaned out my makeup brushes, guys. Because really, I'll be honest, I put my foundation on with my finger. Well, now I have a brush to do it, so... But that's my Laura Geller, which I love, love. It's a powder to cream, great brush that comes with it too. And you just, it's so fast, it's so easy. My allergies are so bad, but I love it. I really do. I debated and debated it, but then Nicole from Glass Half Full uses it, and she recommended it too. So I thought, well, it's worth giving it a try. They were having a huge sale. They still are, actually, I think. I don't think I'm going back to anything else. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so we've done that. Now, I use the same powder puff, and I'm using my Patrick Star One Size Pink Setting Powder. This is the mini, guys. It's lasted me for months, months. Because Baby Angel was mentioning Patrick Star and One Size yesterday, and she's like, oh yeah, it's really popular. I'm like, I was using it when he first came out. I told my little angels about it first. I said, we are so far above the trend. <laughs> we are practically trendsetters. So now that I wasn't smart and I've got all kinds of crap piled up right now um, in front of my brushes. So I have to just move them. Sorry guys. And look what I found. These little tissue packs. These ones are um, bubble tea. Is that how you pronounce it? Anyways, bubble tea, whatever. Aren't they cute? And they were on sale. So I bought a whole bunch and I just, I'm throwing, I have a big bag now of stuff I keep for gifts. And when I want to make up a care package or when somebody's birthday comes around, I can just go and take out a few things and I'm already started. So I like that. So I put those away. So let's see. Who do we fill it? Always using my Makeup Forever contour. So I get out my contour brush, which is my angled brush. I don't care what it's supposed to be for. It's what I use it for. 
And always, if you're doing your jaw, remember to go up your ear, the outside here. It just helps to have a stronger jawline. And if you have jowls like me, thank you, Dad, speaking of fathers, right? You just kind of brush over them and then brush them in. And that's it. And I do my nose. There we go. Now, highlighter. I think today we're going to use a Hollywood Charlotte Tilbury one. This one's Moonlit Glow. Um, and I just use a big fluffy brush for that. Forehead. On top of my cheekbone here. Nose. Dip it. Dip it. That's it. And then for blush... We're going to use the Laura Geller blush today. I like this one because it has the shimmer and the highlight kind of already in it. It's not as um, pronounced as some of my others, but I like it, you know, and it's what you like, guys. Makeup is for you. It's not for anybody else. It is not to hide behind either, guys, okay? You are beautiful as you are. I happen to love makeup. I love playing with it. I love the colors. I love the texture. I love everything about it. I did used to wear it to hide behind. I don't do that anymore. I don't, but I'm just saying, don't hide behind it. Okay, so now we can start on eyes. So, I'm going to use my liquid eyeliner in brown. And what I do with it is just do it above right here so that it's just on my eyelash line. Because my eyelashes are so blonde, this just gives it a bit of a oomph to get me. It gives my mascara a bit of a boost. That's all. I'm not using it as a wing or anything like that. Now. If you're uncomfortable using a liquid liner, okay, I'm going to show you a trick. And this is how I learned to get really comfortable with it. Now, because my eyes droop a bit, when I get to this part, I kind of go up at the very end rather than follow my eyelash. What you can do if you want to is start with one of these. Whose is this? Urban Decay. What I like about it, it has this. It's to hold. It's the perfect holder. However, if you don't want to spend the money on this, take your little old self down to the dollar store or an office supply store or Staples, whatever. Buy pen grips and put them on your liquid liners. It helps you to feel more secure. It feels more comfortable in your hand and you're able to make those lines. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, now the Tula Eye Brightener. I love this stuff, love it. It's pricey, but it lasts forever. It really does. Okay, so we've done that. My eyebrows are still good because I dyed them when I dyed my hair, so I don't have to do those. So we just can start on the eyeshadow now. And I think today I'm going to do a really light shadow. I think I'm going to do these three. My matte colors. But what I love about these, these are my, um, what do you call it? My cotton candy look. This is the look Lori Latte showed me how to do. And I do this quite often. It's actually probably my favorite look. I'm just going to move you away from the light a bit. That's better. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, so I, let's do the green on the outside of the eyelid. So you just start halfway and kind of move it up. Don't worry. You don't need tape. I'm going to show you an amazing trick with your concealer to make it look like you used tape. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, some people put tape here so that when they're finished doing their eyes, they pull it off and there's no powder and you have a very straight line. There's a much easier way to do it. And 
using the tape like that can actually cause wrinkles. So don't do that. Shake off the excess. Now I'm going to go inside and just bring it all into the green. Hold on. Yes, dear. Are the apples Not yet. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Apparently saying I'm filming means nothing to some people. But it's Father's Day, so you know, I'll shut up. Now, then get your fluffiest brush. Take your lightest color. And go under your eyebrow and in the center and kind of blend it in. And blend it. And you can use your finger to blend too. God gave them to you, use them. Now, the trick. Take your handy dandy concealer. Take the tip and make your line go from your the corner of your eye to the end of your eyebrow, like that. Just like that. If you notice any shadow inside, you can just dab it. I see some over right here. So. And then you can use your finger or you can use a plug and just brush it down, down. And voila. A perfectly straight line. No tape needed. And it fixes any mistake. I'm so sorry about the sniffing, you guys. I am so embarrassed, but I can't help it. Okay, today I'm going to be using my the Tarte Tubing Mascara. Okay, you know how I always say L'Oreal is the best mascaras? And I still believe that. I really do. If they make a tubing mascara, I'm set for life because... I love tubing mascaras. Just give me a second, you guys. I cannot do this without a mirror. So today we're gonna go to church and we're going to, we have to go to the dollar store and then we're gonna go visit my dad and his dad Luckily, they're both at the same cemetery. And just say hi. I get nothing out of it, guys. I'm not one of those people that gets any comfort from going. The baby angel and Uncle Angel both do, so I go along with it. They're not there. I talk to them all the time, so they're in my heart. And that's okay, you know? If you go there and you get comfort, good. I'm happy. If you don't get any comfort, you're not weird, okay? It's to each his own. But, and then, I'll take him for lunch, wherever he wants to go, which I can almost guarantee will be Subway. And then we will come home and we're gonna spend the afternoon together and then make a lovely dinner. And that's Father's Day done. And while we're at it, that's my makeup done. <laughs> well, we haven't done this. Good, good, thank you. Good. good, thank you. You guys, it's just like you're visiting me. This is exactly what happens. So, now, my other ride or die my Urban Decay All Nighter. I love this stuff. Now, lipstick and we're done. So, I did sort my lips, but you know. So, who's this? This is Lawless. I feel like wearing pink today. And it is a pink. I'm not lining them up. Truth of the matter is, guys, I very rarely use a liner. It's why you guys have seen my lip products. I think I have three liners. I must have, I should count my lipsticks. When, no, I better not. I better not. You know what? I don't mind this lipstick at all. And the gloss. 
is lawless as well. I'm trying them out. Oh, that's a big line. Ick. Okay. Okay, it goes on nice. It's very natural. I'm going for a very natural look today. But you gotta have a lot of uh, oil. Lori Latte taught me, taught me that, and I stick with it, man. I want hydrated lips. There we go. Now my hair, I'm just gonna make it messy. Er. <laughs> More of a controlled mess. Voila, I am done. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. And always remember, I love you, I value you, I honor you, and I'm so very, very glad that each and every one of you was born.